Hello and welcome back to my channel you beautiful people of YouTube. So today I'm bringing you the review of the JDS Lab Adam. And let me give you guys a good look at this. And the reason I'm doing well, first of all, I know some of you have been waiting for the review of the black label. And I promise you guys that the next video will be the black label. Now, I have to do this first because I have to send it out before. I have to send it out tomorrow to the owner. Thanks to my friend Yannick for sending this out to me to review and so there is a time restraint and i have to get this review out and i'm not gonna say this because of the time restraint or i want to make this review simple or whatever but this amp right here the jds labs adam is the best amp you can buy under 250 dollars the next best thing is el amp which is also their product, the JBS La JDS Labs. Now, I have said that, but um, I'm going to explain why I think this is the best amp that you can buy under $100. But first, let's go through the process. I do not have a specific process with which I review the amps. Amps are kind of free for all. I just talk about them as I go. So let me give you a basic overview so this amp right here this is the power knob clicks the amp turns on the quarter inch output the gain switch and the input switch on the back of the amp RCA in RCA out 3.5 and the power supply this is a very simple amp but it can stand on like this it is very stable when it is standing or you can set it down like this uh, very understated look though i'm pretty sure you could get it customized and it only says jds labs on front now this amp the jds lab amp is not the best built amp there is it is uh, I wouldn't say that it is not the best built. It is built fine. It just has cheap plastics. And I suppose plastic is not really a bad thing because the things made out of plastic can last long. But it is not like this black label here which is solid metal. You know, it is nothing like that. Or even the SAP 2. The SAP 2 actually does have some metal in it so the build out of the way let's talk about the next thing that I think I have to get out before I talk about the sound of this amp how much power does this amp has and when I was using my DD880 600 ohms edition and this is where I turn the knob and that's where my ears could took it the most like anything farther than that was murder and this is I think 2 o'clock position so the thing about this amp is that I was thinking that it is not going to be as powerful as SAP 2 but it is almost on par with SAP2. SAP2 might have 10% more power. So SAP2 I consider to be extremely powerful and this is also powerful. Not as powerful as the black label but black label has insane levels. I think it has 4 watts per channel. So that that is a $600 amp by the way so you cannot compare a hundred dollar amps power to a six hundred dollar amps power but 
it is powerful enough it will drive your td880 it will drive your t50 mas t20 it might not be able to do it that ridiculous akg headset it might not be able to do it he 500 it might not be able to do it but he 500 it might actually i don't know for sure so those are there are three or four headphones that it will have trouble driving okay so all the important oh one more thing the power supply that comes with it is freaking huge it's about this big and i don't want to pull it out of there right now but it is humongous so think about that i think you uh, you shouldn't leave it in a wall socket actually you should have it on a extension cable or something okay so that is done now let's talk about the thing that matters most sorry that matters most to you guys and which is the sound this is the best amp under 250 dollars that you can get right now and when we talk about the amps just like headphones amp have all the different amps out there they have different characteristics an amp could be neutral sounding or it could be warm or it could be bright and the transparency well first of all those are sound signatures kind of that an amp could be neutral warm bright and all the things in between but transparency is like a scale that goes from 0 to 100 in my opinion and some headphones might be transparent but they might not be neutral this headphone is a hundred percent transparent amp and it's also neutral at the same time so the real party piece that this headphone has is that you could use a preamp like this one right here this cheap little preamp about thirty dollars on sale that i put twenty dollar tubes in can send a signal out to this amp or you could send the signal out from this amp into a preamp into another amp but that's whole another thing i would just use the preamp to send the signal into this when you play with your signal with a tone control or anything else that is analog because the distortion is practically zero in this amp the sound it does not the amp does not add any further distortion to a manipulated signal and that is the party piece of this amp that it is so neutral it has zero distortion and so transparent that you can play around with your music and you can configure your music to your liking and it is powerful it will not distort <clears throat> and there is one issue with it there are actually two issues with it that i should not call them issues <coughs> excuse me but those are the things i should notice because i'm talking this amp up like it is a perfect perfect amp and it almost is but the issue really is that it does not have the resolution or the speed of an amp that is 300 500 dollar amp like <coughs> excuse me a good 300 500 dollar amp like the EL amp the THX mass drop 789 but think about this if you take details out just the details this amp in clarity it beats serious performance like Jotunheim NFB and many other things that are highly regarded this amp when you there is one caveat that you have to use a very very good DAC I was actually running this amp with the black labels DAC 
and when you give it a very very good neutral clean deck it sounds better than NFB than Jotunheim and all the other expensive products that are beaten by products in the same price range that are better than them so not so good products in the higher price range it absolutely demolishes them okay so that is my review now let's talk about the things that you have to do to perf get this amp to perform best um, well the things I have already mentioned that you have to get a good DAC uh, get some high quality music the low quality music does not sound bad so the absolutely most neutral most transparent the best amp under two hundred and fifty dollars and a lot of you people in my viewers would ask me that they are getting 250 ohm edition a bear dynamic or some hard to drive headphones uh, which what, what should I get should I get Magni 3 destroys Magni Modi combo destroys FX audio deck x6 destroys sap 2 and a lot of other things so this there is um, a mass drops hundred dollar amp also but this is the best amp under two hundred and fifty dollars that I have heard and I hundred a hundred percent recommend it go and buy this amp if you are on a budget the minimum DAC that I recommended that you get with it is topping D30 which goes around a hundred dollars you can get it on a deal so this was my review and if you have made this far please subscribe to my channel please subscribe like the video share the video and love ya